Hello everybody, so I am back. I've been posting on YouTube quite a lot now because I haven't posted on YouTube since the first big lockdown, I don't think. Yeah, because I was in Egyptians. Not, that wasn't necessary, but okay. So I'm going to be doing a makeup collection today. So I've got all my makeup beside me, well not all of it, it's, some of it is my makeup bag over there. But I've got a, bit, a lot of it here. So we'll just get started. So I have first of all got this EOS lip balm which is quite flat actually. Don't know how that happened but I think this is a tropical one as well. And I got that from TK Maxx I can remember. So next I have a strawberry Carmex which is like this. And that's the packaging. I don't know where I got that from, but it smells like Carmex. It burns, but if, ladies, if it doesn't burn, it's not like it. So next, I don't actually know where I got this from, but this is from NYX actually. It's quite convenient. And it's a just pink lip balm and it's very pink. There's another little fingerprint I put in it. That's so good. So next, I have got a soft rose lip balm. This is just the Nivea one. That works the best, I think. So next, I've got these two. It just comes in a set of three, but the one, the other ones in my makeup bag over there. So I've got this Get Fruity Watermelon lip balm and the Get Fruity Strawberry lip balm, and these don't actually smell of watermelon or strawberry, which is quite disappointing. But the coconut one, which is in my makeup bag over there, does smell like coconut. And that one's very nice. So, I, I, I will use them at some point. They're really good, actually. So, and then... I have got... A Lip Rehab Nourishing Lip Mask. Again, I don't know where this is from, because I got this... These... And this for Christmas. So I don't know where they are from. So next I don't really use this drawer. But I have got out of an advent calendar a uh, Revolution Makeup Revolution London eye primer. So it's big, but this is just the handle bit. So it comes like this. It looks like a concealer, but it is not a concealer, which is very annoying. Um that is alright. I mean, not the best. But then I got an uh, illuminating strobe cream. And it's from Barry M. I think this is from my advent calendar as well. I can't actually remember. Yeah, I think it is. So I've got that. Next, I've got this, which is literally empty. It's just a concealer, which can go in the middle, actually. So, and then I've got this MAC primer, which is practically empty because it was a sample. But I'm just keeping a hold of this so when when we can go back into the shops again, I can ask the kiosk people what primer it is and buy it, maybe. So, that's actually a really good primer because primer, like this one, makes your skin really dewy and wet feel. can make you feel wet. Um... That means your makeup won't sit properly, your foundation and everything. So this is the collection primed and ready primer. Um the number looks like this and the primer looks like that. It's just a CC little primer. It's really bad. It's not the best primer in the world, so next I've got Highlight powder, contour, and eyebrow draw. So I've got this highlight palette. It's from George. I don't. I think you can still get this because when I was out with my friends in the summer, she got it. So I went in after. Um. So it's a four shade highlighter shade. Lustre Goddess Sunset and Glow. This is what they look like. And they are super pretty. 
I love that. Next, I used to use this a lot, but I don't use it that much anymore. So this is the Revolution Makeup Revolution London Contour Stick in F10. I got this for Halloween, not really, but... So... I can go with the ones that I'm not going to really use anymore. So then in the uh, same advent calendar as I got the eye primer from, which is in like the same sort of bottle, but it's just, um, I got a purple lid because the, this calendar tends to have a lot of purple lids, um, is a liquid highlighter, which is so pretty. I mean, even when you blend it in, it amazes you of how pretty it is. So that's another highlighter, and then what was the normal highlighters I found? This is the Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter, and this is amazing as well. I don't really use that very often, as you can see, I've hardly touched it. Ow! This is a baked highlighter from my admin calendar. Nice because I've used this quite a lot. So this is the this one. I've got another bit of try like my pen calendar gonna come. So that's that one. And this is the other bit of from my other calendar if I can ever open it. So it's more of like a pinky tone. So this one. So like as you can see it's like more pink. Than this one. That for me is actually quite handy because I like more pinky tones on my skin than white. So next I've got brow stuff. So for Christmas I got this Revolution Brow Pomade in medium brown. It really doesn't look medium brown, to be honest, it looks more black, but it's actually really easy to use, to be honest, um, and it glides on your eyebrows. Next I've got, I didn't get these for Christmas by the way, the Goof Brow, Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. This is the diagonal one. I've got the Precisely My Brow Pencil in my makeup bag over there. Which I'm going to do a makeup bag tutorial, like not like a makeup bag collection, like a what in my makeup bag kind of thing. So now this is the 24 hour brow setter. So that's my brow stuff for in the store. So next I've got this blush stick. Again, this probably can go with the contour stick. So this is the collection speedy blush mosaic proof cheek colour that corrects a healthy looking glow in an instant. It doesn't do that. I'm going to show you that now. So you can go with them. Next I've got another Asda product. It's a satin powder loose mineral powder. Right I'm going to actually test that. Right. Oh god. It's like very powdery, as you can see. It's all my jeans now, but you know. I can go with the weather blush and contour stick then, actually. So, this is a W7 Yummy Eyes Baked Eyeshadow. I used to use this uh, uh, highlighter. It's like a yellowy toned, which is not pink, but the closer I can get to pink at the time. So this is another liquid highlighter pen. This is like a liquid highlighter pen. So you see, like in the bristles, the product comes up and then you paint it on your hand. Like that. So that's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Brush on Glow BB Highlighter. So 
it's not really like a highlight you do have to put a highlight powder on the top of it the next are the same as my highlighters from my advent calendar so the advent calendar was really red packaging and purple packaging to be to be perfectly honest with you so we'll get through these so this is the bronzer Even highlight here actually so it's just a dark bronzer because I don't know, people who make oven candles aren't gonna really know what colour skin tone you are for bronzer really so you just gotta go with the flow with oven candles like that so this is the press blusher again it's a bit pink for me but I use it anyway so this is another press highlighter so I'm gonna do a bit more with your highlighters because as you can so as you can see you can see the difference between them all. So I'm trying to put different shades of highlighters in. So you can see the all different shades really. This one's just not quite right on with you right now. So they're all just different shades really to be honest. This one's more yellowy. I don't know why these ones are rounded and that one's flat. I don't get that, but the white one's all of nothing, you know. So and then I got a baking powder, which is yellow, because again, they're not going to know what skin tone you have, because they don't know, they're not going to do a, 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 a kind of just feel it, just say that. So that's that all done. Yeah, that's that sort of one. Now we're moving on to eyeshadow palette. So what we're going to do first is we're going to show you guys what eyeshadow, cr like cream eyeshadows I've got. So I've got a lot of cream eyeshadows from my brother for, from my brother for Christmas. So I'm just unwrapping them now so because I haven't seen them on my hand yet. Get off topic. So this is the Barry M Crushed Jewel Cream Eyeshadow in number 7 Dreamcatcher. So that's what it looks like and this is it beside the pot. Not really my colour of eyeshadow. But I suppose I could use it on Halloween. Or like a crazy makeup look if I decide to do one for YouTube at another day. So that's that one there. This is another one. Um, this is, is this a cream eyeshadow? This is a glitter bomb glitter eyeshadow. This is a glitter eyeshadow, okay. So it's a number one queen. There we go, that's got it off. This is a glitter eyeshadow. That one's for more Christmas time. This is the colour of the pot. So I like the packaging against it. So that's also off my brother and sister. So in my advent calendar, I also got a uh, brow gel as well. It's tiny because it's out of an advent calendar. So yeah. And then this is the eye primer I was talking about, which I thought was in my makeup bag, which it obviously isn't. It's yellowy, but doesn't really matter when it's an eye primer because it's going to be blended in your eyes anyway and you're going to put eyeshadow on top of it when you put it on because why would you put eye primer on without it? I just put concealer on mine. So it's more yellow than white really. So I put them in a little tub in my eyeshadow drawer. So I've got the Revolution... Makeup Revolution London palette. This is the Jewel Deluxe collection. So this is what it looks like. It's got twenty eyeshadows in it. So that's the first one. So then I've got a Morphe eyeshadow palette. And I've got the main one. 
half an ounce of pop, I think. I don't know what time it is actually. I don't know if I'm telling you anything. It's the 35 R. Oh, it's a very thick gold palette. Right, one of these broke when I dropped it, but it's the colour I wouldn't use anyway. So it, this one's got Thirty-four, because it would have thirty-five, but I broke one. But you know, so this one is the brunch babe. Another one, two, four, eight, nine, ten, and one is fifteen. This is the fifteen B. This is what this one looks like. And this one is the Neutral Territory. This one's got nine in it. Mm. So that's, one, that's what that one looks like. I used to use this, this colour for my eyebrows, that's why that's why that. So they're all the Morphe eyeshadow palettes I've got. So then I've got another Revolution one. This is the Forever Flawless. So I use this one for Halloween, to be honest. I use the black and the red. And then you get used to the other colours, but I don't have time. I, I'm, all, I'm also doing my everyday makeup routine and getting up my house ready. So then I've got the PS Urban Heat eyeshadow palette. So this is what this one looks like. PS is from Primark, if anyone didn't know. So now I've got a mask. Oh god. This is the Amber Times 9. This is what this one looks like. Like, really cute. This came out of it, but it was. Then I've got the Magnifies Spice Edition Eye Controlling Palette from from London. This is the number five Spice Edition, and this is what this one looks like. You can see it really without me opening it. So I've got a lot of eyeshadow to take. So and then I've got. W7 Vivid Eyeshadow Palette, which is pink. So if you want me to do a look with this, DM me on Instagram or Snapchat. So then I've got a Revolution one. And this is the Reloaded Proactive. So this is the colours. Oh my god. I just dropped it on my face. So it's like a pinky tones again, but it's not like this one. This one's just stupidly bright. So that one's the Reloaded Proactive. So then also for my advent calendar, I got the Mini Revolution Eyeshadow Palette. So then I've got another one down here. Two more down here, actually. Oh my god, we're moving out the lipstick. That's not full. So, we have got the Fall in Love eyeshadow palette from Barry M because this is for my brother and sister. Pretty. I know this. Oh, this was for my brother and sister. That's why from Barry M. So then we've got another Revolution one. This is the Fire Palette. Again, this is also for my advent calendar. So I'm gonna try and hold up all the all the eyeshadow palettes I have got. Might be a bit of a struggle, but we'll give it a go. So I've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen 
Så länge så alla är själva så får man upp. Next is lip tape. So I have got in the tip lines in here. A mini MAC lipstick in coral and caramel. This is like a really like bright pink glittery lipstick to be honest. I have now and I've got the Benefit Dandelion Lip Gloss. I've got a lot of lip glosses and lipsticks and lip liners and everything. So this is the That's good. 376 Pink For Me Lipstick from Maybelline New York. Let's see some more imaging my life for the sake. This is the Barry M Gloss Me Up Lip Gloss. In the shade 806. So this will be also from my brother and sister then. This is the Revolution Lipstick. And I don't know what shade it's actually. But the colour is this colour and it's super pretty. And then I've got the Sleek Lip Shot Gloss Impact. And this is Brutal Honesty 1182, which is a lovely colour like that. And then I've got the Primus Primark PS Matte Lipstick. In the shade if it tells me. No, it doesn't. And this smells like coffee, but it smells really great. <laughs> so I've got that one. I've got a lot of PS ones, I think. I think they're all still in there actually. So I've got the Makeup Revolution lip gloss. And I got that in my advent calendar, I think. So that's the colour of it. I'm not going to swatch every single thing on my hand, but I'm going to show you the lip liner I got first. So I've got the MUA Makeup Academy Intense Lip Liner. What shade is this? So that's a really sharp colour, you can just sharpen it. So I've got the highbrow lip gloss, which doesn't show you what shades it's in. Oh, so this is another liquid lipstick, which is a matte. So it's a red. Right, I will swatch this off you. Because it's really deep, bright. It's like deep, but bright. So next I've got the Rouge Edition Velvet in Velvet 10. No, it's Finny Matte Matte Finish. No, it's 10, don't pink don't pink a bit. That's it. So I've got a gloss lip gloss. So it's this one here. It's really pretty. It's from that, I think. So now I've got a lip gloss. No, it's, an, it's another Revolution lip gloss. I'm not a big fan of lip glosses because it depends how much of the product it actually shows. So I've got another advent calendar lipstick and it's this shade here. This is my hot pink lipstick. It is breathing fire. And I got that to match my eyeshadow because my mum, you know what, I got that to match my hair when I had pink hair. I went through a phase where I had pink hair guys. 
So this is the Benefit Sugar Bomb lip gloss, which I wanted to get a bigger one of. That's not a lip gloss, is it? I guess it is a lip gloss, actually. I'm just being stupid. And then I've got... A chilly lipstick from MAC, which is another mini. So it matches this one. And I've got another Benefit lip gloss. It's the Bella Balmer. Packs them quite that. This isn't too full of it. I've got another MAC one here. There's two more MAC ones in the tin, but I've just recently got them, so I want to wait to save them till the last. So this is the Viva Glam 2 A6 A826. Just lovely, like, brownie nude colour. So I've got another sleek lip shot in the shade Plot Twist. Which is that one there. So I've got this one. Which is lovely like pink. And I'm show two or seven pink sling. So it goes with this one because for last for my birthday last year, my mum got me these two. So this is just a lip gloss which shows like which has got like a lot of glitter in it actually. It's that one. Where's the red? So then I've got this one six three two seven two seven Barry M Cosmetics L E T L E T L T D sorry. It is gorgeous red colour. Um. So and then I've got a colour Richie Matte for thirty for my friend. Just really dark. Um. And then I've got. A red lipstick from my Advent calendar, which is like that. So I've got a lot of red lipsticks actually, to be honest. And then I've got this just clear lip gloss from my Advent calendar. So these are really quite special because I bought these with some Christmas money, and they're really, really pretty. <laughs> like it's surprising how I'm surprised how pretty they are. So this one is as if I care. So that's just the most gorgeous pink colour I have ever seen in my life. So and then this and then this one is my little secret. And it's like a red colour. But it's more pink than red. So yeah. And I've got mascaras, which I'm gonna film another video on mascaras. Like not just mascaras, but like my makeup bag collection if you get what I mean. So I've got this eyeliner. I always open it the wrong way around. So it's very, very black. So then I've got this mascara. And this is the Absolute Lashes one. From God knows what. So and then this is the Barry M Cahol Pencil Black Glitter from my brother and sister I think because it's from Barry M. And then this is the Coloni Black Mascara. So that looks like everything. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends about my YouTube channel. Bye, guys!